There have been some title changes. Stay with me. So over last weekend, the Taito games by At Games were updated, Volume 1. Three of the four tables were, had some pretty decent changes made to the game. I'm not talking just cosmetic stuff. So let's go through what those are. Uh, we'll start here with Rastan. Table change of Rastan. Notice up here, these targets in the upper left-hand corner are now a circular targets. They used to be this style of target. Those have changed. They added another bumper. They added this middle section, so a third bumper up here, third circular bumper. They added these five targets that didn't exist. They also added holes to each side at the mid-right where you could drop the ball in there. Um, you can see the original table here. None of these items existed. So if you haven't upgraded yet, this is how your Rastan table looks. And the, what I just showed you is the way it's changed. Let's go to Frontline. Frontline along the, the right-hand side, they added these two targets about mid-size up. They added a hole here and eliminated the channel that used to be in here, and I'll talk about that in a minute, and reduced the number of drop targets there. This circular orbit used to, as I mentioned before, used to have a channel that ran through here. I'll show you that in a minute. It's gone. Now a hole exists there. If you circle around, it bangs off this wall and comes back down towards the flipper. Up in the upper left-hand corner, instead of drop targets up along the top, they have a whole bunch of them, 15 targets now that you have to knock down and light up. Or not knock down, but you're going to hit the buttons and light them up. So those are the frontline changes. Pretty significant. Here's how the table looks before the change. You can see those drop targets right here I talked about. Those are the ones you hit. You hit those, knock them down. That would spell part of orbit, O-R-B-I-T, when it's spelled all the way. The special lights up here. Um, and then you hit that special and you get an extra ball. It doesn't stack, but so that's all gone now. Now it's it's gone here. This channel, when you used to be able to hit up here, it would spin around, come down, come down through here, and you could just kind of loop it. But the the problem was this trench right here. And they if it came down here, and a lot of times it bounced off the edge of this, and the ball would go in, in this out lane, and it was you were toast. So you'd have to nudge, physical nudge, to kind of keep it out of there. So that's all changed now. Let's move on to, and if you want to look at, compare the way it looks now. See what I'm talking about? Channel was gone. You can come up in here, the hole, the side, that there, there's that. Let's look at the comparison once again. See, no hole, no there. It's, it's pretty significant change. Not sure how I feel about Frontline. Uh, I need to play it some more. I installed it on my sons. Not sure how I feel about that one. We'll get to my comments at the end overall. Darius changes is a dramatic removal of the top. Let's take a look at the top here. Um, this is the way it used to be. We had this round up here, this little uh, loop tunnel that you could go through. There was also only two of these circular bumpers. And this this over here, the, they had a hole here that you go into. So that's all gone, by the way. Now it's just this, just graphic here. They got rid of the, the loop up in the corner, which is a little puzzling. Now, I added this hole here. So I guess if you had had a loop in there, it would go into the hole. They didn't want to have that. So just remove the loop. And it goes up to 10,000. Um, they also reduced the side one, which used to go to 10,000 when you'd go through here. Now it only goes to 1,000. So the scoring has been nerfed a little bit on this, this, this left side. Of course, out of that third... And then if you look real closely here, the third bumper, and then if you look really closely here, you can see they added the advanced kill, the whole hole whole, uh, that's listed up here, this hole. So quite a few changes to Darius. Now, I think they made this table a little bit more difficult, but I'll, I'll expand on that in my final comments. Also on Darius, um, they added, a, I told you, the, the hole up top. Those are the three tables. Those are what they are. And, and I think in general, changing the table design, a Space Invaders here doesn't appear to have any. Those are the two. This is the before and after. Doesn't appear like Space Invaders changed at all. 
So I, I think all they did with Space Invaders is just fix bugs. There's some people who are having issues with the uh, table and potentially having some bugs and it would crash. So that's what I think they did. All they did was Space Invaders, which those kind of changes I think are good for games. I think it's okay. I'm a little bit more concerned about gameplay changes like this without leaderboard changes. These are attached to leaderboards. So anybody who played the original Darius that had, it was, I think it was a little bit easier. So I think Darius got a little bit harder with the changes made. Now that you've seen the changes, what do you think? Because here's what I think. And people are going to disagree with me. People are going to say it's no big deal. Some people are. Maybe most people are. That it's no big deal to just jerk around with the gameplay experience. I brought this up back when Devil Riders 2019, we found out that if we go up to a certain point in the scoring, because it's a signed integer, you can't go any further. The, the scoring starts backwards, and then it doesn't record your score at all. Now, if you've been playing for an hour and a half on a table, if you're good enough to play for an hour and a half on a single table, and you, and you, you find your score has been invalidated, that's going to kind of suck. Um, so I suggested to them at the time that they, you know, level it off, make it a kill screen, whatever. That That's in the past. I, I wasn't in favor of making changes to tables and then keeping the leaderboard the same. If they want to make these changes, and some of them are positive, some of these changes to the table, I think, like, like Rastan was made better. I think it's a good idea to put a new leaderboard in place. And, and maybe give an option to the people so they can have both. Like, hey, I can play the old Darius version one. I can play the new Darius version two. And then have leaderboards for each. I've also mentioned dip switch settings. Having multiple leaderboards for each dip switch settings. I get it. It's complicated. People probably aren't going to like it because they're confused on it. Some people. Not all people. But in all fairness, if we stop and think about it, if I played a different game different table than you played, and I got a score on a table with these set of rules and this situation, and you do the opposite on a new table with new set of rules, why are we sharing the same high score table? <laughs> we played a different game. And, and I think that's the issue I'm making here. I know it's only a game, and I know people are going to say, oh, it's not that big of a deal. Who cares? Get it. Um, but... In this day and age, you could have an unlimited amount of high score tables. So why not simply tie a high score table to leaderboard to each significant version when you've altered? If you're just going to fix graphic glitches or minor customiz you know, customization type stuff, cosmetic issues, those don't need a new leaderboard. Of course not. Um, you know, but when you start changing and adding bumpers and removing bumpers and doing things like that, that's a pretty significant change. And I would argue that you probably, at that point, at games and Taito, you probably want to have a new leaderboard. What do you think? Maybe I'm out here in, in way left field on this. And they're not going to listen to me anyway. Because I brought up suggestions after suggestion after suggestions with their leaderboard system. Not a one of them has been implemented. <laughs> so this video is going to change nothing with that games. Um, but it's, I'm just curious what you guys think as far as when they make table changes like this. Are you okay with it? Or would you like a new leaderboard? Do you care about the scoreboard? No? 